Today we are back outside of the mall and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a fitting room investigation. And the fitting room that I'm going to be going inside of today is Free People. I've never shopped at Free People before. They are, as a millennial, I feel like a quintessential like 2012 to 2016 Pinterest era boho type of place. I never was able to afford Free People in the past, but recently I've seen kind of a resurgence from Free People, but in the plus size community. And it's interesting because Free People actually doesn't carry plus sizes. In their like typical dresses and tops, they carry up to a size extra large, which according to them, they say is a size 16. And then in their bottoms, they carry up to a size large, which is a 12, 14. That's what it says on their website anyway. And I have heard and seen a lot of plus size influencers, people who are like anywhere from a size 16 to a size 3X, 4X, who have been able to wear like size extra larges in Free people because the sizes are like so oversized if that makes sense and there's this kind of unspoken thing that people have been talking about where free people has secret plus sizes and I was like well, I wanna check that out. I feel like that's very interesting. I am typically a size 16 across the board, so it'll be interesting to see what the fit is going to be like. So we're gonna go inside the fitting room and just like pick out a few things, see what the sizing looks like, and hopefully with all of the plus size influencers that I've been seeing who are promoting free people, and I know free people are seeing it, hopefully they will be encouraged to carry plus sizes if they already kind of do. You know? So anyways, we're going to head into Free People, see if these secret plus sizes are really a thing, and um, come on the journey with me. Let's see how it goes. So going into this, I actually saw a couple people online say that it's really rare that Free People carries extra large in store. So my mission going into this was literally just to find the largest size in like everything. I went through basically the entire store and gathered as many things as I possibly could in the largest size available. And we're just gonna absolutely go for it. Like this is a complete YOLO situation. So the first thing I found was this cute top. It's in a size large. It retails for $58. And then to go with it, I found this pair of kind of like flowy pants. They did look like pretty loose and the largest size that they had was a size large. They're pretty expensive. They retailed for $138. But after putting them on and like tying them, I was like, Wait, these are actually my perfect size, minus my panty lines in the back, ignore that. And even though this outfit isn't necessarily my style, like it actually was pretty cute. So we'll start with the top. It was this really nice kind of like stretchy mesh material. I thought the ties on the shoulders were really cute and it really did stretch. Like it was not too tight on me at all. I liked how on the side of the top too, there was kind of this like ruching or sort of like bunching at the sides and it was just really stretchy and comfortable, honestly. And I feel like with how much I sweat, that would be very convenient. And then for the pants, they were kind of great. Again, not necessarily my style, but like a very dead on size 16. And honestly, I even had a little bit of room, like a little bit of extra room in the waist. I liked the pockets. I liked the length of it. If I was on the market for a pair of kind of like, I don't know, that, that go-to kind of boho flowy pant, I would definitely go for these. They're a little oversized in my opinion, but um, I mean, honestly, I was pretty shook at how this was going. I really did not see the size large fitting this way. So I was actually like, okay, we're off to a great start. So moving on, I found this really cute band tee. This is a Led Zeppelin tee. The largest size they had was a medium. It retails for $78. And then I paired it with this pair of jeans. This was the largest pair of jeans I could find in the entire store. They were $128 and a size 31, which is not my size at all. But I was like, maybe they'll run a little bit large. And honestly, they fit everywhere except my waist. Like I could really try to button those things together, but it just simply wasn't working but it was sad because they fit everywhere else but the shirt is amazing and this is a size medium like I could have even sized down to a small I'm sitting here just so perplexed by the jeans like I just can't get over it I tried so hard to button them and I mean I didn't expect them to fit they're not my size but still. And then back to the shirt, I was really impressed. Like I almost bought this shirt. If it wasn't 60 something dollars, I probably would have bought it. And also I was a little worried with the gray that it was going to be, you know, not very sweat proof. Um, I'm kind of a sweaty gal. So this was a no for me, but I really loved it. Like it felt like a true vintage tee. I loved the feel of it. I loved the holes and the detail and the graphic. It was cute. So I decided to keep that on and pair it with this pair of overalls that I found. And these were in a size large. They retail for $98. And these honestly 
fit like a glove. I was so impressed, especially because these, I'm sure they fit a little bit more oversized on someone who like actually is a size large, but they fit great. Like I would not change a thing about them. They fit great in the legs. I love how cropped they were. They fit in the waist. I just thought they were like that perfect overall fit. And if I was looking for a pair of overalls, like if I was on the market for a pair, I definitely would have bought these, but I have way too many pairs already. And if their size large fits someone who is plus size and a size 16, then it shows that free people can make plus sizes because they do. I am plus size and I'm wearing these and they fit great. So like if they could only make them in larger sizes and make them more accessible for everyone, would be amazing. <laughs> so since that went so well, I was feeling a little confident and I went for a dress and this dress was not a stretchy material. So I probably should have known, but this dress is like a really pretty print. It's kind of like a midi maxi dress. It's a size large, it's $148. That is absolutely crazy, but it would not even go over my chest. Like it was so tight. I was trying so hard to get it to work and it just was absolutely not working. And I was sweating so much by this point in the fitting room. Like it was so hot in there. By the way, this was completely in the back of the store, like almost in like a back closet type of situation. And there was nobody else in the fitting rooms um, besides me. There were no employees or anything. So that's why I wasn't wearing a mask. But yeah, it was just hot and it didn't fit. So I tried another dress. This purple dress is very like 2016 gives me like kind of lore DIY days. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a size large, it's quite expensive as well, and it just wasn't the right fit for me. I was sweating so much at this point, by the way. And as far as the things that I did like about the dress, um, I did like that the top part was really stretchy and I liked that it was long enough for me. And like the style of dress isn't my style, most of this stuff isn't my style, but for like the sake of, you know, wearing it, it actually does kind of fit. I wore definitely like the wrong bandeau bra situation with it. It's a pretty dress. It just wasn't exactly for me and it didn't fit my chest that well. I don't think it would be very supportive. There were so many ties in the back. It was so confusing. I had to take it off. So moving on, we have this really cute kind of like cami tank top situation. It only came in a medium large. That was the largest size. And then I went for this really cute denim skirt. It's like a black denim and it was a size 12. Again, I fully did not expect this to work, but I was just trying it on for the sake of trying on the largest size. And yeah, it wouldn't even go over like the top of my thighs. Like it was just so, so small. So that was an absolute fail, but I'm just gonna like hold it up for you so you can sort of get the idea of what it would look like. But the top itself was cute. Um, I probably would size up if they offered a size up because it is like rolling up. But as far as the tightness around my body and my torso, my chest, it wasn't like too tight or anything. It was just the material definitely made it roll up a little bit. But I also have that experience with other tank tops and like certain materials. And then this was another outfit I was gonna try on another pair of bottoms that were a size 12. And I just said, absolutely not. I'm not going through that again. I was already so sweaty. So next we have this gem of a dress. And this dress I was super excited about because it looked a lot more like the dresses that I had seen the girlies on Instagram wearing. And this was a size small. So when I put this on and it was too big for me, I was literally in shock. It almost kind of was giving Moo Moo vibes a little bit, but I kind of love that. And it was honestly, like I could not believe that it was a size small. Someone who is at least a two to three X could wear this dress. It was so stretchy, so flowy. And I had heard of, you know, following these people on Instagram, all these different situations of the sizes running large. But I mean, this was a size small. Like a size small absolutely could not wear this. So it just, again, further goes to show that free people can and kind of does make plus sizes, but like they need to just expand it further in all of their items because it clearly, this was like, this was a win. This was great. It was super, super stretchy. So I was thoroughly impressed by this, if you couldn't tell. And then the last dress that I picked up was this kind of like, I don't know, cottage core esque but like bodycon. I don't know, cottage core goes to the club, I guess you could say. This is a size large and I loved this kind of brown plaid pattern. And it had this cutout in the front that I thought was really cute. It fit. It definitely wasn't too small, like it was my right size. It was very stretchy, but it also left a little bit of room, like extra. So the stretch was there, the fit was there. 
I'm not super into bodycon stuff. It's just not like my preferred fit. It's not what I feel most comfy in, but I actually did like this. And I would say of anything that I tried on this day, it's probably most likely that this would be what I would wear in real life. So it's the closest to my style and it was comfortable. Honestly, like maybe I need to consider getting some bodycon dresses because this was really, really cute. It was just a little too overpriced in my opinion. Like everything at this store was just a little bit higher than I would feel comfortable paying if I wasn't like super in love with it. And yeah, I was just sweating so much. So it's time to go. All right. So, um, that was interesting. There was only that one piece of clothing, that one dress that like really could fit plus sizes. So maybe I need to search more online. And if you want to see a part two where I order some of the dresses online that are more fitted for plus sizes, I'd be happy to do that. Let me know in a comment below, but, uh, in store is always a, a dicey thing like you never really actually know what you're gonna get when you go into a store and that store was particularly small so there wasn't like a huge selection anyway so the website is obviously always gonna have more and i feel like more and more nowadays it's definitely just easier to shop online but i totally get the convenience of shopping in store so it was interesting because two of the three workers that were working there were plus size but they they weren't wearing anything from free people so yeah overall the experience experience was interesting. It was very interesting. I don't feel bad about myself or anything like that. Um, I would say try it if you're on the market and you really love free people clothes, but to me they were just a bit overpriced. Although I was impressed with how many of the larges were able to fit a size 16, since according to their size chart, a size large is a 12, 14. But yeah, I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried free people? Have you found that any of the sizes that you have tried are plus size friendly or run really large or are are there any items you recommend? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye. Now I need to go recover from the amount of sweat that I just swat in that fitting room. Goodbye.